Hi there, this is Atif Mahmood. In this video, I will be covering XSL Labs project again. That why we should consider it a next hot thing in crypto revolution. As this is my second video about XSL Labs project, you might have pretty much good idea what XSL Labs project is and how it will be a revolutionary project for building tools that will be make digital identity to be tamper proof and decentralized. If you have not watched my first video about XSL Labs, I will leave the link of first video in description box. You can watch it and understand it because we not want to miss any single train in crypto industry. In this video, I will be specifically looking deep into the main feature of the XSL Labs. So below are the four main features of the XSL Labs ecosystem which will work together to form a great product to make user experience easy and secure their identity to decentralized way. The first feature is Pulsar, second is SDI, third is SYL library and fourth one is called one. I will be going in detail of each feature. The first feature is Pulsar. Pulsar is the distributed ledger that serves as the bedrock for the decentralized identifier and the entire ecosystem of dApps and dApp ex extensions. So in simple Pulsar, distributed ledger is a type of database that is shared, replicated and synchronized among the member of a decentralized network. The distributed ledger records the transactions such as the exchange of assets or data among the participants in the network. SDI will be a set of encrypted personal data that only the user can read. It will be used in the SYL ecosystem and will be interoperable with other Web 3.0 systems. With SDI, the information will be gathered with a preservation of anonymity. It has two kinds of verification levels. One is with KYC and the other is has no KYC. As it mentioned on their white paper, the SDI verification status without KYC will be corresponds to the SDI which does not include any advanced identity verification but which allow basic SX to certain ecosystem services. This basic verification status will be validated after a test that differentiate a human from a computer. And verification status with KYC corresponds to the SDI of a user having carried out a KYC. This corresponds to the verification of the user identity, identity card or passport and the control of the living status at least. The third and most important feature of XSL Labs is called One. One is the distributed app that will enable the management of the SDI, the management of the SYL wallet, the integration of services from the ecosystem and the control of interaction with other users. So basically One is kind of, so basically One is kind of uh, software that run on multiple computer within a network at the same time and can be stored on servers or with cloud computing. The fourth feature of the XSL Labs is called SYL library. SYL library will be a dApps and dApp extension store. It will ensure the quality of the service and that they comply with the GDPR all of the services offered on SYL library will use the SDI as a guarantee of trust. In simply, XSL Labs will develop dApps for the data protection. European Parliament has adopted the General Data Protection Regulation last April 27 in 2016. With this, it becomes a conducive place to develop a SYL ecosystem. So here are my final thoughts. We can never stop hackers from attempting to invade the online world, but a joint effort within the community and with the utilization of blockchain technology we will soon put an end to all these vexatious attacks. We need to protect our data to protect ourselves from the danger lurking in the dark side of the online world and XSL Labs could be the answer we are all looking for. Thank you very much for watching my second video about XSL Labs. Please share your question or thought with us in the comment below. For latest review and market update, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. See you in next video and keep on crushing your crypto games.